What's going on? It's your man, DJ Big Mike. It's your boy, Aro. It's your boy, TJ, the mayor. And this is Beyond the Tracks Podcast. Your podcast's favorite podcast. Gentlemen, 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 we back at it again. It's Gucci. What's Cheat Design? This. Gucci. Oh, he's got Cheat Design on. Uh, yeah. We yeah, talked about that before, bro. man. Like, no, it's just not Gucci no more. It's, it's, it's Cheat it's Design. Cheap. It's Cheat. Okay. All right. Or BTT Apparel. I I love it. Or what's what's the shit you got? Uh, Michael Xavier? Michael Xavier? Yeah. yeah. That's cool. What's that about, though? Right. I, I mean, I seen it when you walked in, but I wasn't even... Right. That's that new joint. What's, oh. what's, what's, yeah, I'm asleep. Oh. Uh, or is that your brand? I no, see, no. I this, see the... Okay. This is, a, this is a cheat design, but it's, this, is, this is his joint. Okay. Hey, another mm-hmm. one. In my right. DJ Khaled voice. Yeah. Another one. Me and Ron be talking about you, bro, because you come up here with exclusive shit all the time, but and you I, know, we don't yeah, know how smart. we're... I thought about that. But I was just talking about it. He's smart. He's smart. Here I am. Old boy, we going we gonna do the old boy's birthday party, whatever. I'm thinking, what I'ma rock. You you know what Mike would do? He would make something. WWMD. He, yeah, he, he wear what his would Mike own, do? He right. wear his own custom. Bruh. But yeah, I'm thinking this dude is smart. He ain't gotta worry about going to X, Y, and Z to try to grab X, Y, and Z. No, I know why, because X, Y, and Z don't only has X, Y, and Z. They don't have Three X, Y, and Z. Boom. You see what I did you there? Silly. I had to get one in. Now you it's out of the silly. way. Are we cool? <laughs> Love you. You silly, bro. In the A block. In the A block. We're brothers. We're taking shots. We're happy and we're singing on, and man. we're colored. We didn't do, get do, the do, do. Give me a high five. Genius. <laughs> Dino Mike. So before we get into uh, our, our special, our very, 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 very special guest today, let's uh let's pay the bills, oh, get some sponsorship uh, up on this joint. And Is all it? of a sudden, uh, all of a sudden, uh, you know, the award-winning 8 Mile Vodka <laughs> is back again here in Monroe wah, 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 with, a, with, a, with a big event. You know what I mean? We got um, Friday Funnies happening again, October 21st. We are bringing it back with Mikey Shoemaker and 8 Mile Vodka. Yes, sir. So that's going to be popping off. We'll talk more about that later. But, yeah, shout-out to the Burgerless Brothers, the Tommy Brothers, and everybody over there holding it down at 8 Mile Vodka and Born Detroit. And uh, Born Detroit has pre-rolls at Jars over there on Telegraph Road in Monroe, yeah. Michigan. So shout-out to them. Uh, Rome, what you got for sponsorship? Man, I, Good listen, brother. I love your uh, I love your delivery. Bro. Hey, thank you. Yeah, you, you. Hey, I'm gonna hire you. Do I need to hit the Do I need to hit the beatbox for I'm you this hire time? Him. No, I'm good. You I'm got the jingle him. jangle. Listen, man, I'm going to holler at my man Cheat Designs, custom wearable arts and prints at www.cheat-designs.com. Wearable art. Obviously, my brother over here is rocking one right now. Boom. Hit that boy up and tell him we sent you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mike, what you got for sponsorship over there? Good man, brother? as always, we got my man JC from JC Quality Construction. He does everything by the two by from the two by four to the key to the front door. <laughs> Woo! I gotta, I gotta get it it's together today. But it's yeah, hit him up at uh, 734-652-9715 and uh, he'll hook you up. Tell him Beyond the Tracks podcast sent you, and he'll give you fifteen percent off all materials. Highlighting, peace. Absolutely, absolutely. And one last thing we got on the table today, we got them. Boom! Soy joints. <laughs> so yeah, I said it. Fruit Loops. That is it. Boom! Boom! Citronella joint. Hold on. Everybody stop. Look at your screen right now. Boom! That's the new candle. Popping off for um for for October for Halloween. The spooky spooky fucking candles. And uh, affiliated with them is spooky spooky films. So shout out to Kayla and Stelios for all they do shout for out. us. Um and, and special shout out to Stelios, Spooky Spooky Films for doing our intro. Yep. As you guys see, just about five minutes ago or however long it's been ago. I don't know. I've been drinking. I've been smoking. I've been drinking and I've been smoking. This dude. Hey, I'm off waivers. <laughs> this dude. So yeah, shout out to uh, We Handle Candles, man. That's they, your uh, friend, they they. They do, they do uh, some very, very special stuff. Um, so shout out to them. Shout out to Kayla. Shout out to Stelios. So, uh, Rome, I'm going I'm to kick it over to you, man, because you have a very, very, very special guest that you brought with you today, man. Holla uh, at me. Absolutely. Absolutely. Listen, but we ain't going to make it long and draw it out. <laughs> Not a soliloquy? <laughs> it on, ain't going to be a soliloquy today. Come on, man. Oh, Listen, man. we got fam in the building today. 
one of the hottest tattooists, definitely in this area, definitely in this area, but probably in the country. Talk about it. My man, Chris Rayford, owner, owner, and tattooist of 26 Studios. My man in the building. That's what it do. How y'all doing, man? What's going on, bro? Welcome, welcome, welcome. welcome. Let me give you a horn. (laughs) Yeah, boy, we up in here today. What's going on, Chris? How you feeling, brother? Feeling good, feeling good, man. Loving the vibes around here, for real. Are like you? Are family. you? Do you family? Do you feel like family yet? I do. I actually do, man. Listen, y'all it's share, gonna y'all, y'all share liquor, man. That's family vibes right, right there. Man. <laughs> By the time you leave, it's gonna be just like family because there'll be some tables flipping over, like we're playing Monopoly or or dominoes. I'm with you it. You know what I mean? I'm with it. <laughs> no space. And we'll hug it out at the end of it. <laughs> no spades. That's way too. Hold on. It's I don't. I, I don't know his uh, past, so I don't want to just. I just don't want to put spades out there. You know what I mean? I I, I, I know where, our past. Where, where are you from, bro? Toledo, okay man. then. I'm good with spades. Tea time. Good plan, spades. Yeah, I just didn't know how serious we was gonna get. I didn't know if we were gonna have to play for lopes, like we're <laughs> like we're in the joint. I didn't. I don't know where you. I don't know. I just. Gotcha. I know where I've been. I don't know where you've been. Gotcha. Good, brother. Gotcha. I'm, gotcha. I'm talking gotcha. shit. I'm talking shit. <laughs> TJ did like three and a half weeks. Right. Mm, yeah. <laughs> you know, he had like he had time. He had like he got time. <laughs> it's cool, brother. I did two nights. So right. I'm right. I mean, right. I did three and a half weeks in a hole. Right. But yeah. Yeah, man. So we got Chris in the building. Uh, tattoo extraordinaire. Extraordinaire. And uh, I've been looking at your stuff on Instagram, brother. Thank you, man. I love it. Thank you. I love it. I want to get right into it, man. I know Rome, Mike, everybody's got a lot of stuff to ask. I'll just start it off because um, I just want you to to kind of give a little backstory of how you got into the artwork itself. You know gotcha. what I mean? What formulated into being a tattoo artist. Um, I started drawing when I was around like seven years old. Uh, really knew from then that I didn't want a regular job. Uh, after mm. high school, um, I mean, your parents always pressure you. You know, you have to go to college. You have to do that. So I went uh, as a graphic design artist, still tr- in the art mm-hmm. frame. Mm-hmm. Did Where'd you go? UT. UT. I went to UT. Stayed on campus. <laughs> hey, hey, I was, I was, I was the man over at the I House International House. Oh, you, you the I House. I was the man. No, I didn't Listen. go to college. No, I was the man oh, over there, though, bro. T- I was, <laughs> that's how I started. That's how I started. T- my was an honorary student. He was hey, an honorary. Like he was just going to going to people's classes and sit down. Hey man, he was like, <laughs> ain't registered for shit. <laughs> he, I house actually, baby. he got a bachelor's degree, <laughs> but he ain't paid for it, so they ain't give it to him. He's but he done been to every motherfucking class. Hey, I was a Door Street veteran. Hey man, <laughs> you feel I'm me? with you right. with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we, so man. you went to UT. Yeah, man. So graphic design did actually did three years and decided like that's not for me. Like I can't do this. So after wow. that. I tried the little job situation at Foot Locker, tried a factory I job. That. I remember that. Shoes, <laughs> yeah. man. Uh, factory job. And at the factory job, it was just like, I looked at the paycheck for two weeks or one week. I was like, oh, no, nah, this ain't it, man. <laughs> this ain't it. <laughs> and I was in there 12 hours a day, and I was like, yeah. nah, man, I'm cool. This is depressing. Can't do it. So after that, um, I was already sat in the house. Uh, and after that, I was like, man, I got to go bigger. I got to do more things. Got to think better. Jumped into a shop. And after I jumped into a shop, hit up the health department. Health department, like, you have to be in that shop for a year to get your own tattoo shop. I'm like, cool, no problem. In that shop for a year. Got my shop together, found a location, everything. COVID hit. COVID mm. hit. Mm. So when did you, you start the shop? I started the shop a year and a half ago. Like oh, right in the middle of COVID. Right in the middle right of right the pandemic. Yeah, wow. So it was a real. That's a tester. It was. Yeah. <laughs> it was, man. Um, when I say, bro, like, I literally, because we couldn't tat. Like, they shut down all the tattoo shops and everything, but right. I still had to pay rent on the shop. Right. I still mm-hmm. had to pay everything to build the shop. Right. Like, mess it. But, like, forget it, man. I started tatting out of hotels, man. Mm-hmm. Like, I started tatting out of hotels so much that the hotel people actually knew me and were giving me rooms for free and giving me the same room because I was coming there so much and I, I didn't cause no That's disturbance. Hustle. That's the hustle. That's you know a I mean? hustle. I didn't give no disturbance. So that's yeah. like, we know what you do, you cool, you want a room, you get a discount, whoop de Right, right. Bet, did that all through COVID, pay rent, End up opening to my shop, man. It's truly that's blessing. Absolutely. Yeah, man, that's dope. That's a hell of a story, that's man. That's the entrepreneurial spirit. Yeah, yeah, to open up during a pandemic. Yeah, yeah. When people are shutting down. I'm opening up. You're opening up. Yeah. Opening up. That says something really yeah. big about your character, brother. Thank you, bro. Yeah. And he has something really intellectual big. property. You yeah, know, he, he creates his, you know, he. Absolutely. Right. He don't, he don't have to work for nobody. Or whatever. He can create his own uh, money flow by what he does, man. Exactly. That's, that's lovely. 
just that, that just that 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 brief that you did, like that's inspiring <laughs> for real. For the listeners, no, that, that's, that's not right. bullshit, man. Real. You know how many stories there was of people shutting shit down. You know what I mean? And and you know, mm-hmm. but you know, to every uh, to every bad thing that happens, man, you got to look at the good of it. And, and yes. you you found out your grind that's and it. how much you wanted to do it. Facts, bro. Appreciate because that. because a lesser man doesn't doesn't six. You know what I mean? You yeah. you don't keep going through a pandemic. That's your purpose. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Facts. That's your purpose. purpose. Yes, right. yes. I purpose. love the way you said that. That's, yeah, your, that's purpose. your purpose. Yeah. Man, because everybody else would have first they wouldn't even have thought about it. Mm-hmm. Second, they they would as soon as it got tough, they would And you got to go to they were like, hey, I'm gonna shut all that shit down. Mm-hmm. She was like, no, nah, I'm gonna keep paying my rent, so I still got my mm-hmm. space because it's gonna pop. It's gonna so, pop. Yeah, that's and dope. the thing about it is like my where my tattoo shop is at. I'm on the campus of University of Toledo, so it's prime real oh, estate. Right. Like, oh yeah, shout perfect. out, shout out with your location. Thank you. Huh? Shout out your location. Uh, 2130 Middlesex, Toledo, Ohio, 43606, right behind the dorms, right next to FedEx Kinkos. Yeah, I'm I know say, exactly, I'm I right know exactly where you're at. I'm right, you know where you're at. Right He's on there. campus. Yeah, that's right on campus. That is on campus. There. Yes, that's on campus. I've been all around there. I, <laughs> I, I still got hookups on Kensington <laughs> Street, bro. I'm hey, still in Kensington. Can bro. you talk about that though? Or yeah, it's been over seven years, bro. I'm old now. Okay. Yeah. Still rock with some cats over <laughs> at Kensington. Yeah, yeah. You know, since everybody Toledo, you know Toledo School of Practical Nursing. What's up? Yeah, Toledo School of Practical Nursing. nursing. Yeah. 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 Now, you know, if you, if you know Mike Madison uh, sign language, right. bro, I That's spelled all up. that out. I was there That's at up. his graduation, and I was there at my mother's graduation because she graduated from the same spot. Oh, Toledo, Toledo, Toledo. Yeah. yeah. All right then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Toledo, Toledo. T-town in this motherfucker. We got two dudes from Toledo. We got an honorary student from Toledo. We got a. A graduate. nursing student from yeah dope we in the building man shout yeah out, we shout out to Toledo we still, Ohio man we still Michigan all day <laughs> hey I fuck with y'all man but you know that's about it for Heavy. Ohio I ain't gonna you know I'm Michigan Heavy. if you go down to Columbus now we you know I'm just saying we might yeah we're not driving that far we won't I, it ain't even about to drive you know what I'm talking I know about talking okay about. I'm with y'all I'm, yeah. with, I'm good I'm good hail to the victors bow <laughs> yeah there you go. That's good with y'all. Yeah. Him's, on, right him's on the wall. I'm looking at you. I'm with y'all. I don't like the last <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah. So, um, so, so you guys are family. You guys are cousins. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you know, uh, touch on that a little bit, man. Life, Cause man. I, yeah, Rome, you being a big cuz, yeah, tell me, tell me, tell me what you was thinking of little cuz. I want to know the, the the history wa- yeah. watching him grow and him and his brother. You you would call him his brother twice now today. <laughs> um, they obviously they're a little y- bit younger than me, so they really grew up with my younger brother. Mm-hmm. But you know we you know we always running the bricks. same. Yep, they grew up with bricks. Oh, obviously. okay, got the we, same birthday. Y- yeah, they do that. Oh no same. shit. Yeah. And oh. bricks mad at us. Bricks bricks like dude, we didn't had everybody on this podcast. Oh, me, me and him talked about it. Okay. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna put in a plug right now. I'm gonna put in a plug right now. <laughs> Uh, actually, because He's Bricks is performing October 1st right. uh, mm. for Ryan from oh, Brain Jerks' right. okay, uh, 40th birthday yeah. party at Shout the out. FOP Hall, Hall on Strasburg Road here in Monroe, Michigan, um, October 1st. Bricks, Mandela, Polo Frost, uh, a bunch of DJs. I mean, uh, we'll go on and on about it. But, yes, so Bricks is actually going to be in the building for that. And, hell, let's bring them on, you know, right before the before, before that shindig. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. Um, but, yeah, you know, I've been knowing Chris his whole life. Um, but you know, a lot of oh, times, eighteen years. A lot of times, <laughs> it, even really being right, <laughs> even being around here, because he has a lot of clientele, mm-hmm. and I would run into people, and I would see they work, and I'd be like, you know, who, where you get that from, or whatever. Oh, you know, my man down in Toledo, my man down in Toledo, and I would never really say, you know, like, because everybody say, oh, that's my cousin, oh, that's, <laughs> right, oh, oh, that's right. my family, oh, right, that's right. my. It's so a black you know, thing. It, it, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Which is true. I mean, it really is true. Like we said. Black people, all black people are sister, cousin, best friend, niece, exactly. nephew. Uh-huh. Is is his you know sister, cousin. cousin, baby Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> so we family, right? Exactly, right. Yeah. exactly. So um, yeah, he's always you know he always been nice. He always been nice with his pen. But you know, he, look, I mean, he's a smooth dude. Yeah, you know, I'm chilling, man. Listen, I, I can see the family resemblance. Right? You know, <laughs> I don't know. He's old now. I can't. Cause he's, <laughs> he's like the younger version of Toledo. <laughs> Boom. 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 Oh, yeah. Boom. That's a compliment. It's That's a, a compliment. it's a very good That's compliment. A compliment. That means you passed down the torch well. I'm but trying. not just I'm me. Trying. I'm sorry. But like you I said, you did call him man old though. You ain't had to call him old. Yep. He has always been a smart dude. You know, always been about his business. You know, gotcha. well he wasn't getting in no trouble and you know that you know no, just a good dude, man. Yeah. You know, and I always knew he would go far. You know. And um, when I found out that he was, you know, he, he was like, oh, man, I'm about to do this. I'm about to be 
my own boss, bro. You know, <laughs> I'm about to get this shop. You know, I'm about to do what I got to do. With a woo, woo, woo. And ever since he planted that seed, it has done nothing but flourish, you know? Mm-hmm. So that's why we had to call. I, I, keep t- I was hitting him like, bro, we're trying to get you on the pod, yeah, bro. You know, just, you know, let us know. But how, how does it feel to be an entrepreneur and, and being able to set your own schedule? And set, I mean, don't get me wrong. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I'm not saying, uh, uh, you know. Hard uh, as a motherfucker. Right. Being a self-made <laughs> man is, is, yeah. is, is easy or whatnot, but, you know, you said you worked a 40 hour job and you weren't really feeling that, mm-hmm. you know, what, what, what do you like about being an entrepreneur or, or, or running your own business or having your own business? Honestly, man, making my own hours, um, being there for my kids when I can be there for them. Right. Actually time, time. Cause I remember this one time I was working at finish line and matter of fact, it was my grandma's birthday or something like that. Mm-hmm. And um, I told the manager, like, I need to get off just a couple minutes early. Mm-hmm. He was like, well, you going to have to catch your grandma at her next birthday. Mm-hmm. And after that, I was like, oh, no, nah, Ooh, that's bro. cold. You feel that's me? That's cold. cold. Right? That's right. cold, right. Rest bro. in power, too. So at, after like, we get off here, let me know his name. Oh, God, let's throw the man. <laughs> <laughs> let me know his name. <laughs> so, like, it's like after that, man, it's just like I, I would love to make my own schedule every single time. I want to be there for my kids no matter what. Absolutely. Any school event, sports event. And just for me, like, I don't want to have to – Take vacation days, man. That's just not me because right. I use all my vacation days in the first month. Thank you. So it's like, <laughs> you. Right. So right. it's like I, I love that, and then um, not having to answer to nobody at all. That's big. Um, yep. And then really, it's just a hustle, man. I love to hustle, bro. Man. I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Getting up in the morning and checking off my schedule and doing what I have to do is it's no Lovely. love like it, man. Yeah. And right. you do, like I said before, like you live in your purpose, you know, mm-hmm. that's because you're doing it for you. You're doing it for your why, mm-hmm. not somebody else's why. And when you, when you were talking about, you know, where well, you gonna have to catch your grandmother on her next birthday, like that's that, that's, that's that true worker mentality. mentality. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and yeah. we just had this conversation the other day because I have a coworker who has a special needs child and she's like, well, I, you know, I don't have a choice. Like I have to be home right. by mm-hmm. one thirty. Yeah. And you know, the response was, Well, can't your husband do something? Right. Mm. And she was like, yeah. first she was caught and she responded, like I probably wouldn't even respond. Right. But she was like, Well, my husband has a job that he can't leave. Right. I have a job that I can do at home. Right. Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. That's why I'm in this position. That's why I stay here. Mm-hmm. So I can take care of my son, right. and for like somebody to say like your grandmother, well you had to catch her her next birthday. What if she don't have one? Exactly. Fuck y'all. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that, part. like that, that, part. That, yeah. that that when you yeah. said that, like that just mm-hmm. inspired me even more than the hustle, the grind. The mm-hmm. it's like Rome said, it's time. Mm-hmm. You real, can't get time actually. back. No, 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 we talk about get Rome. Else. Rome is an advocate for that, man. Time most, versus uh, money, that's man. That's the most you can't valuable get thing we back. have. That's the most, most valuable thing we have. And, right. when, and once we start understanding yeah. it, that, like, that's more valuable than That's when people say time is money. Time is actually more valuable than yeah. money. Because we can get bread. We yep. can make bread. We make bread. We make we'll bread make it. right now. We'll make it. We'll how many people, it how many right people now. have been rich and Thank then you. broke again mm-hmm. and then rich and then broke again? Bro, but they I can't remember get that time. You're back. not gonna get that. Back. I remember. Period. I remember Deidre asking Grandma one time, Grandma Betty. She was like, "You know, when you guys, when when Grandpa would get laid off in the railroad and everything, like, mm-hmm. what'd you guys do?" And she just said, "Made it, make it happen." We made it happen. There was like no happen. real answer. Yeah, it was like right. we just made it happen. Right. There's no formula. There's no how to. There's no list of what to do. Mm-hmm. It's just you make it happen. You know what I mean? Facts. Um, facts. And, I, and it actually, I mean, not only does it inspire me that you that 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 you say, you know what I mean? Yeah, you didn't like the way that they, that sounded, but I, it kind of pissed me off a little bit. If you give me his name, I'm telling you, I got people on Batavia. I got people on the Grange. He said Batavia. You know what I mean? Yeah, I said Batavia. Batavia. Yeah, I'm good, bro. Oh, yeah, you, yeah, we good? Yeah, okay, we good. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. No, yeah, we you wrong. You right, wrong. We might have to edit some shit off on this. I appreciate it. I go back sometimes. I'm not tripping. Wrong, no Junebug. So. Right. Boom. Good plan. I was just gonna That's say. Right. I was just gonna say, and, and I, I, you brought him up. I brought him I up. I just want the people to know <laughs> this is not his cousin Junebug, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Junebug <laughs> is in a different place right now, and, and you know, and and hopefully his commissary <laughs> is full. Listen, he's gonna be like, this is the good like, cousin. Who is Junebug? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we talking about Rome's cousin Junebug all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, where man. I get the weed from? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the weed, Junebug. Right. Right, this is before we had yeah. dispensaries here. Uh, it was a dispensary. <laughs> Thank you. That's what, they be like, what? Hey, hey. dispensaries. Dispensaries June, take you out the game. June, Junebug's cannabis solution. Change the game. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> 
<laughs> Chris, do you have a um, do you have uh, something specific uh, that is always in the back of your mind to inspire you to uh, keep going? Or is it just everything that goes into it? Or is there something? I know some people always, you know, say, hey, they look back and it might be like a certain situation or a certain family member or something mm -hmm. that they always, even when times get tough, they go, boom, I think of this. And it keeps me going. Do you have anything like that? I do. Um, really the future. Um, because, like, with my tattoo shop, I see this as just like a... Um, how can I say this? It's just like a ride to more more ventures. So like with my money for my tattoo shop and my investments, I want to buy land. And then with that land, I want to build on that land. Uh, I want to buy like a good like six acres. Yeah. And then I want to I want to build another community with that land. So it's like I want to make rent off of that community or make. Bro, how old are you? Uh, Thirty-two. <laughs> Damn. Okay. So you All right. No. <laughs> I, 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 one, I didn't think you was that old. I'm, seriously, I was. Are you calling you was, another man? You old? thought he's a young man. No. <laughs> I, I thought you, I thought he was probably 22, 23. So I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be for real. For you real. look young. Appreciate you. So, but just good thing. But just your mentality. Black I'm like, crack. this dude got some spurs. <laughs> <laughs> like, he, like this is good talk. I love that shit. Yeah, he, he, he them gems. That's what yeah. we do. We, them gems. Yeah, yeah man. Cause so when you buy land and you, uh, and when you buy land and you can build on it. You can those people have to pay you to be on your land. Mm -hmm. So basically, I want to do that and build like generational wealth. And then the um, the the tattoo shop that I'm in right now, I just rent it, but I want to own the whole thing. I want to buy it. So I don't want to rent no more. I want to buy the whole thing. I want to own it. That's what's up. Um, so those kind of things get me keep getting me up in the morning. Those type of things, and I want to retire. Like I'm 32 right now. I want to be able to retire completely by like 45, honestly. Great goal. Um, Absolutely. And it's just that that what keeps me going, man. Absolutely. Man, that's so dope to hear. That's so refresh <laughs> it's refreshing to hear. Yeah, you know what it's, I mean? People don't talk yeah, like that. Not it's, everybody it's, talks like that. They don't talk that shit. I Not everybody just, talks like that. I love it. Shout out your Instagram too. You know, a, a lot of our listeners may want to go see your work. Uh Chris Rayford Art at uh on Instagram, Chris Wright for Art. That's what it is. And we'll put it Simple on the screen. Yeah, we'll put it on the yeah. screen. Yeah, right. definitely. Let me um you. ask you this. Do you do like any like art pieces? You know, you, you said that you draw things mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, I paint. You know, yeah, you paint and do paint, all that. charcoal, everything like okay. everything like it's so. I got insurance on my hands. Like that's how much I love it. I do art. Like man, let's yeah. get it. Let's get it. You <laughs> want to take golfers clap? Let's get a fucking golfers clap for that, bro. For sure. No, that's no, say that again, please. For I, have the people that, that on, I have insurance on my hands. Right. Just for the people in, case in the anything back. Happens. Just for the people in, case. in the back. Right. Just in case, because yeah. that's that's how I, that's how I live. That's, how you that's make my talent. That's how I make my money. Mm -hmm. So you have to have insurance on that, man. Absolutely. And like, a lot of people don't know you, you can get that, but right. you can right. get that. No, you can yeah. have, listen. Kim Kardashian had insurance. Yeah. There's no on bullshit her on her butt. Like yeah. J Lo has yeah. an insurance policy on body um, part. Like yeah, yeah, no, that's absolutely. a real deal. Yeah. I had an insurance policy on some hot dogs, but then I ate them. Here you go with that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We, we be having oh, a good yeah. five. Yeah. But it's that part of that show. I got to bring it in. We got to we got to bring it. There you go with that bullshit. All week, man. Yeah, completely it. answer your question, man. So let, let's say, like, I couldn't tat today. I, I do graphic design. I do websites. I do paintings. I do all of it. Anything that got to do with art, I can do it. Mm -hmm. I can okay. do it. Mm -hmm. I talk to you about some things. Of yeah, the end of the show. yeah, of the, course. Yeah, yeah. Well, you might be here till 11, 12 o'clock, <laughs> tonight, brother. We network. We got some work for about you. building a team, you, man. man. We man, network, whatever, man. Yeah. Networking. Yeah, absolutely. I, I love the um, and, and I, I can't draw. You know what I mean? I can't do nothing. But but uh, um, you know, I, I rapped. I, I'm good with lyrics. I, I love seeing a song get made. But also on the other side of it, on a nine to five aspect, when I lived out in Arizona, mm -hmm. um, I, I used to uh, uh, basically. What our job was, was there was a building that got built. We make that building look good. We're the last piece of the puzzle, yeah. right? And so where I worked at, actually, I lived on Mill Ave, which is downtown Tempe, and I can get done with a job and see it go up within a week and be out to eat, you know, with my family and be able to look up and, and see that beautiful building yeah. and know that I touched that, I designed that piece of that building or whatever. Mm -hmm. So uh, with that being said, so what I'm alluding to is with you being an artist and being so great with, with art and being able to put it permanently on somebody's body, right? Mm -hmm. How inspiring is that to, to see people when you get done with the art piece, you know, the look on their face or to know that, you know what I mean? Hey, you know, part of their journey, part of what they're, they're going on, what's going on in their life, mm -hmm. you were a part of that and you mm -hmm. made a, a smile on their face or, 
You know what I mean? Yeah, or or yeah, really yeah. was an integral part in something yeah. that really meant something to him. Yeah. You know, talk about that a little bit. So it's it's really special, like designing tattoos, because like I like to design tattoos for people. I don't like doing the same tattoos that's out here on the internet and mm-hmm. things like that. Uh, and then a lot of my customers have stories behind their tattoos. So just tatting them and listening to their stories and seeing how I can cover up scars or seeing how I can cover up uh, old names. Right. And it really it, it, it feels good. It's a good feeling. Like, it's such a good feeling. I had a, a couple clients cry after the appointment. And he's like, thank, like, thank right. me. It's yeah. like, oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's a good feeling, especially as an entrepreneur that you're helping somebody out just by putting art on the body. And it's something that you love to do, and it's something that they love when it comes out. So it's a real great feeling, man. That's got to be cool to go hand in hand like that. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And because I, I t- cause, and you just met, I got it in my notes right here. You said something about cover ups. Because one thing when I was going through his Instagram, <laughs> I, I, I was noticing, um, and you do great artwork, right, from scratch. But then, like, the cover ups, I was like really impressed yeah, by it, man, yeah, and I was like, bro, you you that's got to be even you know a, a, a bigger smile on people's people's faces because obviously they didn't like what was there before, right. uh-huh. you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, no, you did. everybody rushing get their first tattoo, Facts, man. Everybody, everybody rushing get their first tattoo. Facts. Me and him both. Uh-huh. Everybody <laughs> rushing. I don't like his right. tattoo and I don't like my tattoo. I'm <laughs> you sorry, got a bro, tattoo, bro. Yeah, you ain't know <laughs> that. I'm not yeah. absolutely yeah. not. Yeah. I'll show it to you. No, you won't. <laughs> If I ain't seen it yet, if I ain't seen it yet, <laughs> see that pause. Right, huh? pause, nigga. Oh, we. It's on my shoulder. Right, bro. and I ain't know you had. Well, it's on my shoulder, dog. Yeah, I got, I got mine. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I knew you had that. Right. Right. Mm. Right. Yeah. But yeah, the, the nineteen-year-old tattoo. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you yeah. really didn't Everybody think all the way through. through. Yeah, exactly. Right. And you got it done because you was broke, and so you got it done by somebody. <laughs> right. Right. Like, just, just because my they homie, got a shot. And you, th- and they thought they was dope. Home, you thought they was dope. My yeah. homie do it in his garage. Boom. He only charged yeah. thirty dollars at a party. Bad. We did I'm it never, at a party. I've never right. done that. You ain't never went to a tattoo, to party? A tattoo party. I've been to one. Oh. Never got work done. Oh, okay. Yeah, but <laughs> see, but but no, because right. at, at, at the especially at the, this day, no, the business obviously. that I was in back then, I, I know, no, no, I'm, I'm, I don't. So there's a purpose yeah, that I was there. And that's then you not leave. the guy you want to fuck with. That's not the guy I want to fuck with. No, 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 not, not that guy. Right. That was a whole. No, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I got a. I have a question for this you. This is the get like, indicted by podcast. <laughs> 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 Good thing we all old. Oh, oh we yeah. tattle telling ass, Nick. <laughs> we are transparent. Yeah, that's facts, and we don't edit shit. So don't be like, oh damn, they gonna have to edit this. Oh, we ain't editing the shit. That takes too much shit. time. I, take shit. <laughs> um, I wanted to ask you though, because like I was, I I got pretty big into tattoo culture as far as like when it was real popping on TV. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They were showing all the different artists and. Right. And then I don't know. I'm sure you're familiar with the the Black Ink yeah. uh, episodes, right? I think Black it started. Black Ink crew. Yeah, 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 I think it started in New York. Or, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll be honest with you, man. Like, I was so excited. I'm like, they're gonna have like the the Ami James, you know, all these people, the mm-hmm. the Chris Nunez, but it's gonna be it's gonna be black people. I was so excited, and then I started watching that shit, and I'm like. Why are you doing this? Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you feel that same way? Because I feel like I was so disappointed. They put button seats, bro. I'm like, same way. It's a damn. Business. Like, how come you show, like, and I don't want to make it a race thing. No, like, yeah, yeah. Like, but it's, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's like, you know, you showing, like, this woman over here who comes in and she's creating this great artwork and this, you know, even though they would have black people on the mm-hmm. show, mm-hmm. but the head people right. were, were people Caucasians. Right. Yeah. We're just going to put it out there, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, so that's why I was excited about, and then I see the Black Ink uh, crew, and it was just bullshit and drama, yeah. and this person fucking with this person. Like and Rome I'm just said, to sell the seats. <laughs> right, and I'm just like, defense. I'm like, exactly. wow, like, I can't even, I was so disappointed. And like, because I feel like that has truly, um, I think that's put a damper on black tattoo shops mm-hmm. because people go mm. and tattoo culture in general. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yes, yeah. but especially yeah. black right. tattoo. Yeah, that's shops. what you mean. Yeah. you know what I'm saying. Hard. It's right. already hard for us to get in there because it's like yeah. those people, man. These motherfuckers had talent. They yeah. weren't no shabby ass people, but yeah. every like their artwork was overshadowed. And mind you, I probably only watched six or seven episodes before I was like, yeah, that's some bullshit. Yeah. But yeah, so kind of speak on that a little bit and just. Explain to people that might not know, like the the vibe and the culture of your shop, gotcha. and, and a lot of shops that that you might go to. Got gotcha. you. So with that Black Ink shop in New York, just from the TV shows, 
and just from watching it on VH1, I believe, it was like a lot of drama. It was like a whole lot of drama, mm-hmm. and they really didn't capture the art concept right. of tattoos. It was more towards, you know, drama, and that's what people like to see on TV. And that kind of did damage, the, I think, in my opinion, it did damage the black shop a little bit, mm-hmm. because when people go into the black shop or see a black tattoo shop, they automatically think that, oh, it's drama. Oh, it's gonna be some problems around that shop. Oh, it's gonna be parties. Right. You know, something like that. Like when my tattoo shop, I had I had to go through like two, two, three locations with the city because they thought I was gonna be a disturbance to this to the places I was at. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's like that kind of did put a damper on it. And then, but with my shop, I try to switch it up all the way because like with me, I'm a chill, laid back person. So with me, I mean, um, mine don't even look like a tattoo shop, honestly, man. I got a. Uh, I got wood walls in there. I got Jordans on a wall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I got, uh, I mean, I got sign- a signature wall. I got plants in there, you know, just a little vibe. And, you know, we always don't play. You know, we have our ratchet day sometimes, but mm-hmm. our <laughs> customers, you know, we, yeah. we, we like to keep it mellow and laid back, man. Because mm-hmm. when you play mellow and laid back stuff during tattoos, it keep the heart rate down. Right. It keep the heart rate down. So that's better for the customer. Oh, so right. I didn't think about that part yeah. of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we, we trying to keep it a little mellow in there and a little laid back vibes. People love, love my shop. Like, and that's just not just because I'm the shop owner. Uh, like somebody left a comment the other day and told me I was the uh, the Chick Fil A of tattoo shops in Toledo. <laughs> like hey, that's, that's, a, that's, that's a great ass. That's, that's a, a great compliment. compliment. That's you know, that's a great compliment. Is. You know what if I mean? If somebody told us that we was the Chick Fil A of <laughs> podcasting, yeah. I'd be like, oh, bro, you know uh, t- mean? today's price is not yesterday's price. Right. Exactly. And then like <laughs> sponsorship just went up. <laughs> yeah, right. And then all yeah, the artists dope. in my in my shop are black. We're all black men. So it's like to do that and I run a shop successfully and we're doing it great right. is, is great, man. It's wonderful. And the city not to ha- have to come out and be like, oh, y'all doing this wrong, doing this wrong. Like, my last health inspection got an A+. Plus. Right. A+, plus, A+. Plus. Like, I don't play that. We serious about it. Like, we nothing yeah. about business because right. we know we're a black shop, so we know we're going to be looked at real close. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, we, we don't play about business. You want to shout out uh, some of your artists that you have? Yeah, uh, Donnie Nash, uh, Nolan Moore, and Denzel. I don't know Denzel's last name. I forgot it. I'm sorry, Denzel. But you didn't Denzel. have to say that. You could have just been like Denzel. Hey, man. Denzel, man. <laughs> hey, he know he my boy. Y'all know Denzel. Yeah. Y'all know Denzel. Shit, if y'all don't, y'all better come down <laughs> to the shop. For real. We just had a, uh, a sale last week. Um, the twenty six dollar tattoo sale, forty seven dollar tattoo sale. I seen sale. that. Yeah, and the hundred dollars tattoo yeah, sale. Bro, yeah, bro. But I say I did probably like a good seventy six tattoos, bro. Woo! Damn. Yeah. We and and what? And what? T- one period? Uh, two days. Uh, two days from seventy six tattoos in two days. Yeah, bro. No lie. <laughs> yeah. You still that shit remind me of Ink Masters. For real. When I say, <laughs> bro, we did we did Chick Fil A, bro. We get people in and out, bro, with great quality tattoos, yeah. man. Man, that's what's up. Do you still yeah, do man. tap out sessions? Yeah, I do. I do tap out sessions. What's man. a tap out session? You get tatted until you can't get tatted no more. Oh really? Yeah, God that's a tap, yeah. Out tap out session. <laughs> be like, dude, yeah. I only did one line. Yeah. Like, but how does, but how does that how does that work as far as like uh, uh, monetary monetarily? Like, I'll charge you one price. Is it like yeah. per, just per hour? No, uh-uh, no. It's one price. So no, that's, I'll charge instance, you one yeah. price. Let's say instant my tap outs are twelve hundred. You gonna give me twelve hundred for a tap out session? If you tap out in two hours, three hours, you still owe me that twelve hundred. That's, that's your fault. You. You but it's you. all in one segment. Yeah, one, one segment. You can't come back. You can't right. come back. So if you got, so you can get you a, got 12, you can get 12 hours of time. Hour, yeah, 12 hour tattoo. Yeah, you good. Absolutely. Yeah. And then 12 hours tattoo, I've done a whole back piece in like five hours. So like 12 hours, I can get a lot of stuff done, man. Dog. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, I bet you they can't though. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Right, exactly. That's why it's got a tap out. Some people like numbing cream, but with the numbing cream, it lasts about a good three hours. And after the three hours, you'll feel that pain instantly that right. you're supposed to be feeling. Right. I, you know what? I got offered that my first time. And um, and, and I, I thought it was, I thought she was joking. It was, it was mm-hmm. this, no, this chick, man. I thought, I thought she was just bullshitting. But but then after I started getting tatted, tatted I was like, I, if this is a real thing, I don't want it. Because I actually think that it goes smoother feeling it. If that makes sense, it do make sense. You know what I mean? Like it's smooth. Like it's a smooth process. It's not an right. up and down. It's not you don't feel it, then you feel it type thing. Like right. yeah. you know what yeah. I mean? I was just yeah. kind of like, oh, after like the first couple of oh shit, oh shit, oh, it was yeah. like it was boom, right. we was there. Yeah. I started Relax. playing video games. Right. Yeah. She had a, she had video games in the shop, and, she, mm-hmm. and I started playing video games. You know what I mean? Right. But I don't know. I like, tap out. But but I, but I understand though. Some people probably uh, yeah, they yeah. might not have that tolerance, but they really want some. Or well, especially if you're doing, do, or they think right. they're doing like, like yeah. you doing like spine or something on bone or yeah, neck yeah, or something. Yeah. Like people really go in. Like I had a football player from UT. He got his whole half sleeve done all the way around and his whole leg done all the way around in one session. Wow. So it's like people, people right. go in, man. Right. 
People go Ooh. in. Right. And like you said, there's some people that they think they can, but they can't. Yeah. They get about two hours in, they be like, like, I'm straight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, just tighten that up. I just had this little <laughs> butterfly done on my on my ankle. And then, <laughs> Ooh, this shit different. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at him like, yeah. Yeah. No. This, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been <laughs> yeah, some, yeah, yeah. I've been in some tattoo shots after after nights at the strip club before. Mm. Just as a as a because I know some people and I just go in there and kick it. You know what I mean? And I was just like, yeah, hey, there's, there's been some wild. Wow. People didn't know yeah. what what they was getting themselves well, into. You ever, you ever watch Ink Master? Uh, with Cat Von D? No. No, which one with Cat? Ink Master is like the, the competition. Competition. That got canceled. Oh, too. is that the one that, uh, no, oh, 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 boy, that, that, that was in that band? New, um, one. new one just jumped off. Is different it host. All three dudes? No, it's different. It's different hosts. It's, uh, I think Ami James is on there now. Okay, I'm going to say that's why it got canceled because the dude, the, uh, the country dude with the long hair, mm-hmm. he got in trouble for oh, doing man. black faces. Mm. Is that, is yeah, that the did, one that was they, started they by the dude from the band? Uh, he was from a band, uh, rock and roll band. Yes, um, can't, I can picture him right band. now, and I can't think of his name. Yeah. He's from a rock and roll band. I know you're yeah. talking about. Yeah, yeah. I can't think of his name either. But so yeah, in, in that competition, like you know, people come in and they want a certain tattoo and they want a certain area, and they show that shit all the time. Motherfuckers just be like, yeah, I no, I can't do it. They be like, no, nah, this is a competition. Like I gotta finish, and they be like, nah. I don't give a I'm damn about. I don't right give a damn now. about none of that I'm competition. Done. I'm done. <laughs> it's a wrap. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, I don't you know, know. I a problem I have with that competition. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut no, you. No, no. Uh, they don't tap black skin, bro. Uh, and like facts. It, and it's a like it's a fact in the in the industry that 70 percent of the tattoo artists don't know how to tattoo on black skin, bro. And it's really like, yeah, it's, that's that. a right. fact. It's a fact. Right? And and, and uh, I did notice sense. on some episodes because I've watched a bunch of that. Like when the skin is even darker, not mm-hmm. even black people, like Hispanic people, mm-hmm. where they like they they bug and they like, oh, you know, I'm, exactly. I, I ain't gonna be able to make this pop. Exactly. And I'm looking at like, dude, do a dope ass black and gray. Right. What's the problem? A lot of tattoo artists <laughs> don't know how to tattoo on black skin, bro. Yeah. Really? Yeah. A lot. A lot. A lot. Because if you that, see, though. if you look on their page, they don't have no black skin as their like right. as pictures or anything in right. their portfolio. I never thought about What's that. What's some of your uh, techniques if you can share to make make Tattoos pop, pop on, on darker, contrast, darker skin. Contrast. So, do you do a lot of? Is it a lot of black and grays? And black you, and grays. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot of black and grays, um, especially on dark skin. A lot of black and grays. Contrast. Not too much. Not too much. You can get detail in there, but if you try to get too much detail on the black skin, it's gonna heal wrong. It's mm-hmm. gonna heal definitely wrong. Like if you get too many, um, too many lines together. Okay. It's gonna heal wrong. It got to be, uh, got to be contrast, real nice space, so it can be shown from across the room. That's that. cool. You know what I mean? if, if somebody comes in there and and they're trying to drink or they've been drinking or whatever, do you turn them away? Because I know that's a big thing where where that heals wrong mm-hmm. also because the blood's mm-hmm. thinner and so things like, happen and during a tattoo. So like with that, I tell my clients don't drink before you come. But if you want to bring a bottle in while I'm tatting you, that's, that's perfectly fine. You right. can do okay. That. Like, because it's a after it, it, it's, yeah. it hasn't set in. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Like yeah. I host I hold late night sessions for that. Like if you want to smoke or drink, mm-hmm. you can book a late night session and do that at a late night session. Dope. That's dope. Yeah, I got a, actually I got I got a couple of people I want to shout out man since we are talking about tattoos and uh, James Addy. Um, you guys remember my homegirl Carla, man? Carla Sacuso, mm-hmm. her dad Carl Sacuso used to own the State Park Party Store, mm-hmm. all that stuff. Um, longtime friend of mine, um, her boyfriend James Addy, they opened up a tattoo shop, mm-hmm. man. Uh, Second Realm Tattoos, right here in Monroe, Michigan. So, a uh, big shout out to them. Um, also, uh, I don't know this uh, brother personally, but um, it's Luck Face Tattoos. I follow him on Instagram. Uh, he's out of Detroit. And I seen a couple of different people like post stuff that they got done by him. And I was like, man, uh-huh. this dude's dope. And I just, you know, he, he, he seems like he's about to culture. But then uh, on a bigger uh, uh, scale, um, I watched a documentary one time on, um, on Cartoon, um, L.A. Inc., I believe, or L.A. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, what, what was it called? Well, L.A. Inc. was the one with uh, Cam Bond. No, Cat Von D. Yeah, yeah she, she's, yeah, L.A. Inc. Uh, Cat Von D., she's, she's awesome. Um, I'm a big fan of hers. But Cartoon... Oh, I can't remember. The, it's a Netflix documentary. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking Him about. Him and, and, and another dude that takes the pictures. Uh-huh. They, that was Cypress Hill back in the day and oh. House of Pain. and You oh, know what I mean? Cool. Then they had like M on there, Snoop, everybody. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exhibit, everybody was on there. And um, yeah, I mean, I was just intrigued about like that whole story and, and the tattoo culture. I'm not, a, I'm not a big tattoo culture guy per mm-hmm. se. I don't really know. 
um, how a lot of these things happen. But, um, you know, that, that's some of my favorites that I've seen their work and, you know what I mean, on, on, a, on, a, on a scale on Netflix and all this other stuff. You know, what, what's your, uh, do you have an inspiring person that you look up to that's, that's an artist? I do. Uh, his name is Maya Bailey. He's from Atlanta. Okay. Um, he has three shops and a community center. So, um, and he's a cool guy, real cool guy. I didn't contact him on Instagram, gave me his phone number, chopped it up with him, called him. Uh, he didn't put me onto a lot of games, especially running my own shop, a lot of games. It's real helpful. Um, and he does his own style, so like, he doesn't copy anything. Doesn't yeah. copy anything. Draws with the marker and then tats it straight on. Yeah, I've seen mm -hmm. that a lot too. And that's, when you can do that, that's dope. Let her do it. That's dope, because it's, Man, I, not too many you know people can about? do that, man. Yeah, do, do you do you do you do um, do you rather do freestyle or do it you? Don't, whether, it don't matter. You don't see, have that's a what I was gonna ask you. What, what's me. your first? First, what's your? Give me give me your craziest tattoo story because I know people <laughs> be wanting <laughs> tattoos. Yeah, let's get into I it. Let's get into it. We forty minutes in. Let's get into it. I might have to pour me another. We want that. I might have to pour me another. But I want to know. We've been a little too serious too long. Yo, Cray, I mean, now you we want like, them really? stories, fam. You was like, really? That's what you want? Yeah, tell, 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 tell okay. a story. I, I got you. My man. All right, so uh, I have two. Um, I might edit the second one out. The first one. <laughs> um, the first one is, uh, uh, there was an older lady. She was about around like 52. Uh -huh. um, Damn. Uh, and she came in, she I was like, you know, what, what would you like? And she was like, I want to tattoo on my butt. <laughs> I'm like, all right. And at this time, I was married. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all right, oh, you know, all right. So I'm thinking she just want like a little something. Right. I'm like, what you want? She's like, I want a tongue <laughs> dripping, uh, <laughs> dripping, uh, dripping juice with a uh, with a strawberry at the end of it. Okay. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, how old are you? Like, all right, cool. Like, we go, we, we go do it's that. Somebody grandmama. <laughs> bro, somebody grandmama, bro, for real. <laughs> So, but he said 52 and I'm 50. Bro. <laughs> you said my granddaddy. That's facts, though. That's facts, though. You pop pop. That's facts, though. I'm papa. That's true. Oh, right. Papa, man. <laughs> oh, weak, man. All right, so I end up doing it, man, the whole time, bro. Like, booty stank, bro. Booty stank bad, bro. I was going to talk to you about that. Yeah, bro. And then it's, like, it's not like her booty flat or nothing like that. Her booty was wrinkled, you know what I mean? So it really wasn't a... She had the lumpy lump. enjoyable experience, bro. <laughs> Oh, that oh. one. And then the second worst experience I ever had was. I was <laughs> Look at his face when he said this. He did. He did serious. Bro, like after this, I think I took off the whole day. <laughs> um, I was tatting. A, I was tatting a female, mm -hmm. and I was tatting her thigh. And for some reason, some females don't like to wear panties when they when they getting tatted. Right. So she was just on my table. I'm tatting her. <laughs> Next second, I know, bro. Oh, I see blood oh, coming no. from her her thigh, yeah. bro. No. Like, bro, like you don't feel no. this. No, like right, like no. I finished her tattoo. Hurry up, real quick, bro. She put her pants on. Left, bro. I've never heard from this chick ever again. Bro. <laughs> I Damn. bet. Ever again. Oh, I bet. Man. Oh no. Ooh, that just made my belly hurt. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> do you do piercings as well? No, I don't do piercings. I don't no piercings. Those. No, no, sir. Mm. Um, while, while we're in the middle of a uh, story time, man, you, you want to refresh a drink? Uh -huh. yes, yes, please. Yeah, yes, yeah I got yes. you. It don't matter. Yeah, it's so I was gonna ask you about that because, like, I have I have friends that that tattoo, and I have friends that that's worked in tattoo shops as managers and uh -huh. that kind of stuff. And they always tell me those those kind of crazy stories. It's it's you know the girl come in with no panties on and blah blah blah. So <laughs> my man, <laughs> one of my dudes actually kept a box of like you know how you, you ever seen the box of like socks yeah mm -hmm. like the little stockings mm -hmm. but they were the panties footies. and he'd be like wow. put them on right. for real yeah put right. them on that's yeah. all hey honestly yeah <laughs> go ahead go ahead yeah go ahead. and it's like i'm like for real i was like they don't get offended he was like i don't give a fuck he was like i don't i right. don't want to see no you know yeah. girls junk like that's not why you here right if right. you're trying to impress me right. that doesn't impress me right. so put these on yeah you know what i mean let me get my tat yeah yep. Thank you, Holler at me after I get the tat done. Yeah. Right. And you know, right. if you come in there with maybe a little bit of class, 
I might fuck with uh, you. Yeah, that's what you right. said. You know what I'm saying? That's what I be on, bro. It's like yeah. girls be thinking they be having to take their shirt off. Like, no, you ain't got to get naked in here, yeah. bro. Like, I'm not here yeah. for that, bro. Like, it's like they want to. Exactly, bro. Yeah. I try to respect women as much as possible. You know what I mean? Like, he said as much as possible. As much as possible, yeah. bro. Because like, I don't want nobody to feel uncomfortable around right. me. Right. I'm here to get money. I'm not here to try Very to date facts. you or try to you know holler at you. Like you said, if you want to holler at me, holler at me after this. Right. You know what I mean? Right. But no, we there to. I'm there to get money and be respectful. And, and you said you're recently single, right? And you're on the podcast. <laughs> oh, I am. And you're Rome cousin. Oh, oh we, uh, man. Oh, oh, can I, uh, oh, I didn't know if we were going to plug that today. Uh, Go ahead, plug I thought it. we were going to do it <laughs> off camera. Oh, the, single, the single joint? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, hey, ladies! I, I, I might be talking too much. Get right. funky. Hey, 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 that's that's so like, just kind of like, like, like hey, it's whatever, man. I'm my bad. No, it's cool. I'm good, man. Yeah. You're going to have 400 women slide in your DMs after this drive. Made, a, made a best one win. Man. <laughs> hey, oh. Made a best one win. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I know yeah. what I bring to the table. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Really? Uh, so, what, so, one more question. Go ahead. Has there ever been a tattoo? Or somebody had a tattoo idea and you rejected it and you said, I'm, you know, I just I can't do that or for I whatever reason, whether it or was, you won't do right it. or I won't do it or, you know. Is it that time that that um, Rome tried to get that tattoo Man, here you go, that <laughs> of, of Michael Xavier? That, is what? that what you're t- He's talking about the one he tried to get on his, his cheek. Yeah, yeah. He's trying to man. He's trying to get my portrait. Bro, I'm, like, feed, feed I'm glad you turned I that down. down. I told him no. I told him no. Uh, to that foolishness. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been a couple tattoos that I turned down just because, like, it's a certain type of style that I like to do or a certain type of tattoos that I like to do, and mm-hmm. it's just like I don't, I don't, yeah. If it's not, if it's not my style, or if I don't, if you don't agree with me, just like I, I love to do cover ups. Okay. But like with cover ups, it has to be a certain type of thing. Right. You know what I mean? And as an artist, you should listen to me. Right. Because I do cover up. Right. But people don't want to listen to me. And it's like, no, I turn the, I turn you down if you don't want to listen to me. Right. You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I turn. It's collaboration, yeah. man. At the end yeah. of the day, like, yeah. I'm, I'm trusting somebody to put something on me permanently. And, yeah, we know nowadays that it doesn't have to be permanent. But, yeah. I mean, it costs a lot of money to, for it not to be permanent. But right. what I'm saying is, it's like, it should be a colla- it's a commitment. So it should be a collaboration. Right. You know what I mean? And I and I, I would, I, I love that you said that and that's how your style is. Because I would want somebody to be. Um, transparent and honest with me, mm-hmm. right? Um, because that is a is a really a really good relationship, man. You got you have to have honesty in your business, man. You got yeah, yeah, like a, a a good tattoo artist to me. Um, not only being good at what they do in their art, but being able to tell somebody, hey, listen, I know you think this is gonna be dope, but I'm here to tell it's you not. that it's not. That's a really big mm-hmm. deal. I mean, when I'm when I'm in a studio, for example, mm-hmm. you know, I get I, I relate stuff to music, and when I'm in a studio, man, and and and, and the fellas say, "Hey, that's not it," you know what I mean? It's like mm-hmm. I said that. Yeah. You told <laughs> me. To, you, you told me to fuck you. Told me to fuck off and go outside. That's not it. He don't talk because he's my brother. He's my brother, but he's like, "What are you talking about?" Because he's my brother. But me and you have had we've had those. I mean, I, the, the infamous story about the um, when we did the uh, Tyree show before when we went to the studio to make yeah, the show yeah, track. Mm-hmm. And you know what I mean? And we yeah. were honest with each other. Yeah, and when Bricks absolutely. asked me, he was like. But this Joe track, you just go and I said, "Oh, it's real simple. If right. it, it, I don't, I haven't heard this joint yet. So once he goes in and records it, if it's hot, it makes it. If it's right. not, right. we're okay. That we, we know, cool like we, that, yeah. we, we collaborate. Yeah. We know that hey, that just that ain't it. That's yeah. not what what is what is what is laying like. Mm-hmm. Do you do you collab with like other artists in your shop? Like if somebody comes in and says, I shouldn't say collab, but let's say somebody comes in, it's just not your thing. Mm-hmm. You don't think you can really pull it off, but you know that." You know, Daryl, what, what you say his name? Uh, Denzel. Denzel. Uh-huh. Denzel can pull it off. Uh-huh. You go, you know, here, let me introduce you to my guy. Like, he can, this is what he does. Yeah, yeah. Uh, different okay. specialties. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. Of course, what, what is your, uh, what would you say your specialty is? My specialty would be black and gray. See, it's hard, bro, because, like I said, I've been drawn since a young age, so I like everything. And in the tattoo industry, you're supposed to have one thing you're supposed to do. Right. But I can't. I can't do that. Bro. What is what is something that you know that you can knock out of the park? Like some people is fine lines, some people is circles, some people. Some people is portraits. Portraits. See, see, fine lines and black and gray. Fine lines, black and gray. Okay. Color. Yeah, like I said, anything really. You said, bro. Fuck it, I can do. I can do it For all. Real. <laughs> Stop asking me that question. I can do it all, dog. <laughs> I'm weak. But to answer your question, yeah, man. Like I. I've had that plenty of times. I pass people off to my other tattoo artists. Yeah, it's, it's enough money to go around, bro. I'm so not selfish at all. Is it, it like a um, a barbershop type environment where, in, as in, you are the shop owner, 
but you have other guys who rent booths from you or rent room, or is it just these are part of my te- this is part of my team. This is part of you know the you know the Chris Rayford experience. Got so. you. No, they they rent they rent okay. booths from That's me. That's what I'm asking. So they they everybody builds their own brand in my shop. That's what I'm asking. But I still right. promote the shop. Right. Um. Everybody has their own brand, but yeah, every, we all move. It's like a barbershop vibe up in there, man. It's, That's what's it's up. Love. I love it in there. Man. Yeah. Love it. Okay. How's your circle game? What you mean? Can you tattoo circles clean, crisp? Bro, okay. Because I'm just thinking about these BTT tattoos we're we going to get. Okay, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this, bro, and I'm not I'm not even trying to be <laughs> arrogant or nothing like that. I promise I'm not. I got bro. you. No, talk that shit. And you can ask the people in my shop or anybody in Toledo, bro. Talk that shit. I have the best line work, bro, in Toledo, bro. Talk that shit. That's that, what it does. Y'all hear it. I would agree. Y'all hear it. Y'all agree. heard it here I'm first on lying, BTT. Bro. I'm not lying. This is, by the way, this is Chris's first <laughs> podcast. <laughs> he's, he's never been on a podcast before. Have you ever been on radio? Never. This is oh, first please. podcast, radio, anything like this. Uh, you really heard it here first. Up, really? <laughs> he does seem very. Chris Rayford said, "Very, very humble." I'm just saying. So we got to, we got to get you, we got to get you out that shit. Very good dude, man. We need you to be cocky a little bit. I can't do it, man. Like, yes, we we'll we'll do it for you. We'll start commenting on your page. <laughs> Don't let us get going. This motherfucker let us get going. You're right. No, I was just I was asking about your circle game because because I know um I think me and the fellas I think we should get a you know BTT tattoo. Man, I'm I, I was cool old. with the chain. I, we all have chains. <laughs> I'm right cool with the chain. I think my, my tattoo I'm days cool is over. Chain. I think we need to bring it to another level. You know, hey, bro, what I'm saying? honestly, bro, if you want a tattoo, bro, I got you, bro. Yeah. Don't even worry about the price, bro. I got you, bro. I'm, I'm, but I'm thinking all three. No, I got y'all. Yeah. No matter, man. It, it, and you know when I told my, it, it, here's here's some real shit though. Here's some real shit. And I, and I, and I really <laughs> listen. You know me, bro. You, if you don't think that I won't get a BTT tattoo, you're I, fucking crazy. I, 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 tried, I was the first one that mentioned to get a Tony Focus tattoo back when we were doing the the label shit. Yeah, but. Um, when I when I told my girl, you know, hey, what we're doing today, what's what's on the thing, you know, we just, you know, we ride around, we kick it, and we, you know, whatever. And I was telling her what we had on the on the docket, and she was like, oh, that's cool, that's something different than y'all done, you know. Mm-hmm. And because um, we we mostly talk about hip hop, and we've had that type of stuff, and a bunch of different type of stuff. And when I mentioned tattoo artists, me and her were just we were, we were talking shit, driving, we were taking the girls somewhere today, and because I have twin girls, I have eighteen month old twin girls, and mm. we've always talked about getting a tattoo. You know what I mean? That has something to do with like a family tattoo, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and um, and so we just started just throwing things back and forth to each other. You know what I mean? And she kept saying, "I haven't found it yet. I haven't found what I want to do yet." Mm-hmm. Now, uh, the reason why I say that story is because, like, for example, if I came to you and said, "Hey," um, and I told you a story, mm-hmm. right, and said, "You're an artist. Is there any way you can f- facilitate my story onto?" a piece art. of paper onto art onto my body yeah. um, is that something that happens often and if so even if not is that something that you know could happen that's yeah. how I like my clients to approach me I would rather my clients okay. do that for me because I, like I said I love to do custom tattoos mm-hmm. so that fits right up my alley I will go over a couple different designs I'll probably drop two different designs for you mm-hmm. just to see if you like either one but yeah that's what I prefer my customers to do like yeah. if somebody said if somebody told you what what would you rather have somebody tell you how they want it to look or tell you the story behind it S- story like if you story? give me free range mm-hmm. tell me the story tell me the story that's dope tell that's a real artist <laughs> that's a real artist yeah I mean that's that's the answer. Not not like a, the, the other way would have been bad, but I'm just saying that that like mm-hmm. that's what I that's what I really wanted to hear. Mm-hmm. I, I I think that's dope when people. Yeah, I th- I think there's it. a lot of tattoo shops, man, that do what I call the um, the 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 pick a number tattoos. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> they have, you know, yep. 200, yeah. 200 tattoos right. in a book, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, one through yeah. 200 and go here, yeah. let me know which one you want. Right. Like, yeah. I don't want that. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So exactly. it's dope that you, you know, you are an artist first. You know what I mean? And I appreciate that. With a vision. Yeah. Thank it's you. a big deal. A vision. Yeah. Man. I appreciate y'all, man. Yeah. And you're an entrepreneur. Yeah, everybody in my shop knows how to draw. Because like, there's some tattoo artists that don't think you need to know how to draw. But everybody in my artist. I've yeah. seen that before, and yeah. I'm like, how, how can you not photocopy. know how to draw? Photocopy. But yeah, photocopy. yeah. But every, yeah. every artist yeah. in my shop But I'm like, but knows it, it seems like you would need to know. Something. Something to like, okay, well, this... This is a, a photocopy or something, mm-hmm. and you do a transfer or what have you. But 
that transfer is not going to fit. It's on not going to bring it to body. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know and I mean? it's not going to. So it's like you got to know how to. Okay. Well, how can I draw this to make it? Right. That's to make it contour with the body. Exactly. You know what I mean? You can't because you can't just go. Well, I'm just going to make this wing a little bigger because now it fucks up everything else. And knowing the and knowing the the curvature of of somebody wherever they're having that. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. That's when knowing being a real artist comes in hand. Because like man. my man said, old girl's booty was a little lumpy. He had to know how to. Yeah, you got to know how to draw and fix get, that out. Get man. through that lump. He said it's stank. <laughs> he said it's stank. That's that's what you took away from I've that. Been like, is this a tap out session? <laughs> oh wait, yeah. I'm tapping out. <laughs> I'm, I'm tapping out. I'm tapping out. The artist I'm taps done. out. This is a tap out session. I'm yeah. tapping out. Here's your money back. Here's, I'm giving you twelve hundred. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm In straight. a bar of soap. Bar. I'm weak, man. <laughs> right. oh, oh man, shit. that's fucking hilarious, man. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I love it too, man. Uh, me and Woody was just talking the other day too. Uh, one of our homeboys, uh, Woody, Woody Hoffer, is um, he has a, a, a organization called Planting Seeds. Mm-hmm. Um, he's an architect, um, but one of the things that he brought to Monroe is, is uh, having um, artists, uh, local and well-known artists, yeah. coming around doing murals on a bunch of That's buildings dope. and making Monroe look fucking dope. That's dope. And um, and it's you know it's art. You know what I mean. Yeah. Um, and, and what you do is tattooing, but also drawing. Um, would you ever, is that something you would ever venture off into to collaborate with somebody, do murals or, um, or, or, you know, maybe even just be like, like a, uh, uh, what do you call it? Like a, uh, consultant, consultant or something, mm-hmm. or, you know, yeah, something definitely. like that. Are you that, into any like mural type stuff? Have yeah, you ever definitely. dealt anything, with that type of stuff? Anything art, bro, I'm with it. Anything yeah. art, I'm with it. I would love to do that. Cause I know, I've been to Denver, and in Denver, a lot of people don't know this, in every building downtown, they have to have art on the building. It's a law. I love Denver. So, like, <laughs> God, it, it's Denver. dope. It's so dope. So like, Not only are you just smoking weed, that. but, I mean, um, you're doing like, cool shit. Mm-hmm. Like, you implement yeah. cool shit like that in your city. Yeah, yeah that's man. dope. Yeah, I would love to do murals. Love to do murals. You know, uh, 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 man, maybe I'm just talking to something into fruition, you know, here at the BTT Podcast, BTT Productions. But, hey, hey, Woody, hey, <laughs> right. you know what? With, with the planting seeds big summer festival next year mm-hmm. you know we got the hip-hop joint going on we're gonna have a mixtape behind it mm-hmm. the murals is gonna be uh, more than double what mm-hmm. we had last year mm-hmm. i mean part of that part of that whole summer joint maybe <laughs> a little we know tattoo we, we know session going on yeah, let's hey. talk about that <laughs> hey I'm, I'm with it i'm, I'm with, with it. it is that I'm something you it. might be interested I'm with in it, man. whatever i'm with it man tell your business man yeah, we gonna talk. Make, make talk we right? gonna talk. We talk it in math, fruition, math. man. Is it the math, mathin? <laughs> this bro said, "It's the math, math, math." And then, if he, it makes and then sense. he rubbed his bill. Listen, he rubbed his bill. Listen, like that's, that's, that's I know. Classic, man. That's classic Iro. Yeah, that's classic Iro. Talk about it, Chris. That's two. That means two. That means two things, though. What's that? That means what it means. You mean it? Mean it? Mean it, man. Or he tired? Now, if he take it off, if, if he do this, if he keep that doing this, hit, yeah. then he hit you with this. If he take it off, then he it off. Right. But see that? But this, is the, 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 but this is the start. Because the hat, listen, the hat uh-uh. the, the hat start like this, then all of a sudden, that is, that's, it get like that's this. The, that's the we working. We out here, man. We <laughs> yeah, just trying to sure. network, man. Chris, it's a little. And just trying to rock with everybody, you know. We have around here a thing that's called a co-op, where it's just a bunch of business owners and, you know, guys like yourself, you know. And we just rock together. It's yeah, not like that. you know a membership or anything like that. It's we just, believe in so collaboration you, over com- uh, over competition. Dog tags right. and whatnot. That's where they come from. Yeah, yeah, you know, the, yeah. Just we on, on the back part it says uh, the co the co op, and it says our name. Each of each of us have our individual names. That's dope. The co op, and then what what business we represent. Yep. See, that's dope. Kind of like a uh, mastermind group. Absolutely, it's a networking. And group. the mindset gotcha. behind it is if you know if money start falling from the sky, we gonna catch more of it together that's than true. trying to fight. You for you know we trying to fight each other for it. Right. Nah, we just work together yeah, and it's, and we and we keep it amongst you know everybody uh, because us. we have enough. It's enough talent with our, within our talent pool to do any and everything mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to do any and everything. So yeah, yeah. Facts. facts, big facts, big facts, man. Big facts. Um, I, before we get up out of here, man, 
you know, the 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 T town. I'm just gonna call them the T town <laughs> fellas over oh, there. T town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do they do they call it, do they no, still call it T town? No, what's it called? No. Do they call it the T? No. Do they call it Toledo? Nigga, dangerous. Dangerous. That so. What? It's just dangerous. I just, bro. It's been so dangerous the last very months, bro. And they changed the gun laws, man. Like little, like little, little kids, bro. Like. I was telling y'all, bro. Story, bro. Dude, I know, bro. Um, sitting in his car, bro. Five young dudes, probably under the age of twenty-one, pull up to his car and spray him with thirty shots, bro. Like just for Crazy. no reason. Like and that had happened like a good three, four nights in a row, bro. Crazy. Like, they just been dying they, back and forth. They just out there wilding, wilding, yeah. bro. Pro- I, wilding. Trying to prove themselves. Yep. Basically. I've, uh, so I've, I've always been a little bit connected with Toledo, and um, and and one thing that I remember uh, distinctively, man, was uh, without saying names or anything like that, but I remember when um, when the Nazis. Right, the neo Nazis mm-hmm. try to come through, man. Oh, I remember that. I remember, that remember that? A, yeah, and I, I just, I, I, I took so 90, much pride, and 90, I'm not from yeah, Toledo. I'm from 96. here, Monroe, yeah. Monroe, Michigan. You know what I mean? And, and, you know, Detroit and all this other stuff. And but, but Toledo, I was just, I was like, man, that's that's so dope because it was actually some of my family members, distant mm-hmm. family members, um, that had something to do with some of the stuff. And I was like, man, this is so dope. Like, you know what I mean? Like they're, like, and I'm talking about gang members. Yeah. You know what I mean? That came together and was like, fuck all the bullshit happen. right now. Yeah. And they put like a, yeah. they put like a, a cease, whole hold, a cease and desist cease on fire. some yeah. shit. I remember pulling up to the IGA. Y'all, y'all know about the IGA. You know about the IGA, the old squad IGA shits and all the, yeah, 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 all that different shit. <laughs> and I remember pulling up, but I'm, I'm just saying like, well, my cousin like, talking you know to him, that? he was telling, man, I, bro, uh, I've been in Blood Central, I've been all that shit. Mind. <laughs> but, um, That's why I call him my little big brother. But what I'm saying is, man, it was a proud moment, man, just, just seeing, um, people that wouldn't usually rock together, yeah. rock together for stuff like that, and then lately seeing um, how things have changed in Toledo, especially during the pandemic and after the pandemic. Now they're mm-hmm. get out it's of it. It's just the violence, man. and it's and it's violence. everywhere. It's not just Toledo. I'm not right. shitting yeah, yeah, Toledo. Yeah, I'm no, just, no, yeah, I'm not shitting yeah. anywhere. I'm just yeah. saying like we're we're right. we're bringing light to some stuff that we have to yeah. stop doing. I mean, Chicago's still fucking burning up. I mean, the, the shit happening in DC. Wow. There's right. so many different things going on, and it's kind of like uh, you know, I want to get back to to that. Man, that's our neighbor. Toledo's our neighbor. Yeah. I, I love getting back to um, when people come together in Toledo because mm-hmm. I, I feel like it went in, around 2003 when I was down there a lot. Um, it was it was different. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And there was always been stuff. Yeah. But it was different. The code was was better. The you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, what would you say? That's why I wanted to allude to it. I, I, okay. I wasn't trying to make it serious, but I wasn't trying to make it funny neither. But seriously, yeah. I, you guys take from some Toledo shit. You know, what's some things that y'all want to talk about as far as Toledo, what y'all would like to see come back or um, like people to maybe get back into? I mean, like with the downtown, like used to be popping mm-hmm. and yeah. different things. Just just anything that y'all want to talk about, man. Front. I want to give y'all the platform well, I know to me say that right now. Right now, I'm, I'm praying for the city because like he was just saying, man, it's a, a bunch of senseless violence. I mean, it's, it's always been a, a treacherous town and a violent town. Mm-hmm. But as of late, it's become, you know, a lot of senseless violence. Um and of course, you know, I'm from Toledo. I was mm-hmm. born and bred there. I love Toledo. Um, but I don't want to raise my family there, if you know what I mean. Yeah, um, and that's and okay not, to say. And that's okay, okay right. And that's I'm okay. back you on that. It's okay exactly. to say and that. That's okay. Um, but with me personally, I'm just praying, you know, praying, you know, for the OGs, you know, which I know some of them. I know a lot of them. Mm-hmm. And it's not that the OGs ain't OGing. It's not that. It's definitely not that. It's, not that. it's the youngsters ain't yeah. listening. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? They don't have the same yeah. code of ethics, code of conduct um, yeah. that that the OGs had or that the OGs respected. That's you true. know, so nowadays it's it's kind of you know the wild wild west out there. You know, so it is. You know, yeah. right now I'm just kind of you know praying for the city, and, and it's touched me personally. You know, family members yes, you know, right, have been, right. been touched, and it's just yeah, we don't have to talk about it. But yes, we 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 know this here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On this podcast, we definitely know it, man. You are you are brother. You know that. Um, is is there anything that y'all can say like uh, in some uplifting spirits, man? For 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 I, I'm a, I'm gonna keep saying the T because I'm old school. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm gonna keep to- saying that. You know Toledo, what I mean? from, Ohio. From, from I mean Toledo's still from popping, all the way bro. from Toledo's Lagrange. Still yeah, Toledo's still popping. And, and, still popping. And, you know what I mean? All the way to Door Street. Right. You know, all the way to uh, Kensington Old Stomping Grounds. Well, all the way to can I can I shout out Collingwood? Collingwood. Oh, yeah. Collingwood. <laughs> you know what I mean? What are you talking about? Bro, I'm talking about everything. Talking about I don't know what he's talking about. 
But I'm talking about everything. Kyle, 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 that's where they had the graduation at. I don't know where you're talking In the about. auditorium. It, don't don't say DeVilbis. No. That was our no, that's not. No, that's not. Yeah. No. Nope. It was old high school. It had to be Scott. That's the only high school? Yeah, over there. there. It's Scott. Unless you're, talking about, and, unless you're talking about OSN Academy. Nope. It's, on, it's on Collingwood. See, so you, so you 32. Right. Yeah, yeah, this, I, this, was, yeah, this, I, this was I graduated yeah, probably right. when you were about and, six. And you know what's crazy? Toledo didn't change. I go to Toledo and be like, what's that? When they put I, that, I can tell that, you this. That's I, a piece I remember of this too. I don't even know if it's still there. It's been decades. Spaghetti Warehouse. It's still there. It's still there. Is downtown. it still there? Downtown. Yep. Is, is, is it? it? Well, I don't know. So when I, when I, I lived in Arizona, Arizona. That. so when yeah. I lived in Arizona, we came back. Um, um, we were in a wedding, and we came back, and we stayed downtown. I, I forget what it is. It's right. It's when I looked out the hotel window, we was looking at um, Mud Hen Stadium. Mm-hmm. And then, if, so if I were to walk out of the hotel, go around the corner, go to the right, maybe warehouse is right there. Now, this was just like three years ago, so I know about four years ago. So I, I think it's still jumping off, right? Because you got like, remember Jed's, like all this different stuff down there. Um, I don't, you fuck with any of that? Frickers? Mm-hmm. Frickin' chicken Frickers? chunks? I remember that. Frickin' chicken OG. chunks? I'm old here, I know you OG, I but frickin' chicken about chunks. That. But the downtown area and all that shit? Yeah. But no, like these, these young fellas over here, like man, we don't know what the fuck y'all talking. Yeah, they, they, yeah, y'all, y'all two young cats, man. We we trying to talk, we trying to tell our Toledo stories. Right. You we, know? we trying to tell y'all from an OG perspective. Right. Okay. <laughs> nah, I fuck, I fuck with the T, man. I fuck with the T. I, I, I fuck with um, heavy, heavy, man. You like, tea, like heavy. I'm, I'm talking about like back in the day. Seriously, Chris. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I know you're, like, you're only a, a few years younger than me, but um, where I used to, that's where I kind of like got like made my bones as far really? as promoting outside of Monroe. Was um, Metropolis, which used to be Dirty Martini on the docks. I know exactly what you're talking about. You know what about. I mean? Uh, D- Dirty Martini was my spot, man. Uh, I had Thursday nights there. Me and um, and uh, the, our group is called Beautiful People. Um, Chris Brown and and, and uh, uh, Fernando Lopez, uh, DJ Smitty, DJ mm-hmm. A Dub. Back when uh, Tower ninety eight went to Airport Highway. Mm-hmm. Um, Dub got a new show, as a matter of fact. Hey, yes, Shout he does. Dub. Shout out to A Dub, yeah. DJ A Dub. This is called man. the Big Show. A Dub and the Big Show. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> that's an inside joke, Chris. Hey, we'll talk about it later. These your people, Dub. Right, these your people. We'll, 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 we'll talk about it later. These yeah, your man. people. But you yeah, know, man. You know um, A Dub. Eclipse. A Dub be at the. Uh, what did he do on Put the bay? Putting Put Bay. I might know him. I might know him. You know um, him. I know you know who he is. Well, you, even even because your because your your shop's over by um by camps and stuff. So and we were talking earlier about the I House uh-huh. and over there off Door Street. Well, if you go down Door Street where Burn is, yeah. Okay, so uh, on the corner of Burn and Door, there used to be uh, a, a little like college club there. But if you yeah, go yeah. down Burn, remember you got the strip club mm-hmm. down the street, and you got what what it's been like. I'm, I'm gonna head, take, it's, I'm, I'm gonna, that's where headliners or not headliners? Head, no, I'm headliners on Detroit. Yeah, no, none of y'all know. Headline. I, I promoted yeah. a headliners. Headliners. I promote actually um, our first show that I think we've ever did together, right? Was the Bijou. at the Bijou, Bijou. Downtown, downtown, the Bijou. Yeah. old Bijou. Yeah. Then they tried yeah. to make Bijou off a of burn yeah. when they the changed it from. Yeah. Something to some. Gosh. Oh, we all do T Town. I see, man. I had to put all this shit out there. I, I, mean, I know it's a lot right now. I had to put all this shit out there. <laughs> Chris we, was like, man, they didn't change the street yeah, names. Ain't none of that. Bro. No none of that. None of that. They didn't change no the street names. Bro. Sneaker Circus. Right. Yeah, I don't know nothing about none that. that. It used to so be much, a store man. called Sne- It was a, a shoe store, Sneaker Circus. Right in that area you was talking about, right? It used to be an arcade called Rocket Arcade, right? What you talking about? On Burning Door, right you're, on that corner. You ever been shot out, shot at at, um, I, at the Palms? Have I been shot at? At the Palms. Nah, never. Absolutely. We used to turn up at the Palms. We, that, the that's palms. your people. <laughs> yeah, at the we palms. went to the Palms and got treated like gangsters. At what the are you talking palms. about? <laughs> that's your I, we got pulled over one time right outside the Palms. We were pulling up to the Palms. Um, I won't say his name, but he had to, he had to close it down. Mm-hmm. And and everybody went to jail except for me. I was only Before one without a warrant. Before it was a strip warrant. club, though. Before it was Before a strip club. Before it was a strip yep. club. Let me, let me rephrase I, that. And <laughs> I, was the, I was the only one that didn't have a warrant. So, <laughs> and it was one of them things, you know how in Toledo, y'all, y'all know this, in Toledo, at a, if, if it's a certain degree or whatever, they put that advisory out so you can only be out on the road if you're like, you know, like a nurse yeah, or whatever, yeah, right? Yeah. Essential worker. Well, it was one of those nights. And um, they sent me on my fucking way. I didn't have a coat, no nothing. And I got, this is, no, this is a true story. I got about four grand on me because everybody knew they was going to jail and everybody gave me their money. <laughs> and I had to walk. This is real shit. No, no, no bullshit. So I had to walk down... Um, from Sunset, you know, where like LaGrange, that Sunset Market, Ooh, right? Like, yeah. I had to walk from there to Barney's. You know where Barney's is at? 
Yeah, right, right. And one of those nights, far, exactly. I had no. This is why. The only person I could get hold of. Shout out to Big Julius, Julius Long, and he's from Detroit, but he was living in Monroe, so he has no clue about Toledo. And <laughs> I was on one bar when they pulled us over. My cell phone, flip phones at the time. This was back in flip phone days. My shit was on fucking one bar. And it just so happened my phone dies and I get to Barney's. And I see Julius had a fucking van at the time. I see Julius's van. And it was like the longest, like, 30-yard walk of my life (laughs) is like, can I survive long enough to get to his van before he pulls off? Because he has no clue. I don't have a cell phone anymore. Mm -hmm. It died. I've been some shit in Toledo. Listen, that's, listen, this is, bro, this is a, this a, a different podcast. We can we, start a new one. We totally Tales went crazy, from dude. Toledo. We totally go. went crazy Hula with stories. it. No, no this story. is what happens. Hula Hula we have stories. a couple drinks. And we're that, we're kicking it like family. <laughs> we go, bro, oh, Toledo, I'd place. have been shot at inside of a, uh, what is that place on, that served the burgers on Monroe Street across from Coles? Uh, Red Robins. Oh, Red Robin on Monroe Street. Bro, I'd have been shot at it. I'm on Monroe Street. Red Robins, Red Robins, bro. Whole shootout, bro. If Red Robins got I I, Bro, Monroe Street, damn. it goes down sometimes on Monroe yeah. Street, which is the strip where there's a bunch of different shit at exactly. that you would think would be corporate, like the Best Buy's there now. You know what I mean? All this different I'm shit. The mall's right around the corner. Damn. And Monroe, I've seen some wild shit on Monroe. I've literally seen a high-speed chase on Monroe Street walking mm. out of, um, yeah. um, um, at the time, it was called Chuck's on Monroe. Mm. Now it's called mm-hmm. Vita Cantina. Yeah. And Dub, I Dub exactly there. Yeah. About. I've literally walked out of there and seen a high-speed chase and I'm talking about this motherfucker. Like was in the movies. Going. <laughs> he was. Like in the movies. Bro, he was dogging this challenger like right. he ain't had a care in the world. Police couldn't <laughs> fuck with him. It wasn't I his. Was like, oh, shit. <laughs> it wasn't his. Hey. Yeah. So he had no loan, no lease, no nothing. No I ain't seen it on the news the next day, I'll tell you that. But it was wild. <laughs> They don't be doing that in Toledo. They don't put stuff on the news. It's a lot of stuff they don't put That's on right. the news, bro. Yeah. yeah, there was um. Hey, either well, they don't know. We'll get into that later. Right. Yeah. They don't show, <laughs> or they don't give a damn Just about like what's going on. They don't know. The casino. A lot, it's of a, bit, a lot of stuff that happened at the casino. Yeah. yeah. Oh, of course they won't yeah, say I, nothing about that. I don't fuck with it. Mm-hmm. Hollywood. Yeah, I do. I, don't I, fuck with Hollywood. I love Hollywood. I do. Bro, bro, That's where I hear that. So much stuff that happened in there, bro. I only I love I love because because I fuck with a certain yeah group of people there. So yeah. I'm if I was regular, yeah. I see what you're saying, Chris. Yeah. If I was regular, if I was regular in there, it'd be different. Yeah. That's it. It'd be it very, regular. very different. Because the pr- the problem with Hollywood is it's it's not by anything. Mm-hmm. Like let's say it's Greek town, for example, that's right? True. And there's some well, shit that goes true. down in Greek town. Yeah. yeah. But there's a lot of shit that's by it. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of bystanders. There's a lot of mm-hmm. things that when you're at Hollywood, you're just at Hollywood. That's you're it. Holly- that's that is it. True. nothing mm-hmm. else. Mm-hmm. If you take a wrong turn by Hollywood, yeah. you're nowhere. <laughs> That's Think true. about it. That's, that's true. true, though. You're in nowhere. If, if you don't know where you're at. If you don't know where you're at, you're in yeah. nowhere. Yeah. nowhere. If you, you take right. one wrong turn, you can see it from the expressway. Yeah. If you don't get back to the expressway. <laughs> you're like, where am I at? <laughs> you're absolutely Boom. right. You're Try right. to catch a train out of Toledo. <laughs> <laughs> Try to do that. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> he said, Try I'm, I'm keeping it a buck. No, I'm keeping it a buck. I'm from Toledo. That's what we like. Where we? Uh, what? <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, I love it, man. <laughs> man. Good times, man. Oh, try to good leave times. Every time I can, man. I hear you, man. That's what I say. It's, oh. it's, I mean, I love Toledo. That's where I was time. born, bred. You know, that's where I. I that's where I got that. That's where I've been out the Toledo dude I'm got that you. certain type of swag, though. Dilly been out the country. Dilly deal from Adamsville represent. He got a mud hands hat on See? all the time. Except for he did have an Ohio State. Had on at the freaking football game the other day. Can oh, you talk that, to him about that? No, no, no. That's your grandson. I'm not going to spank him on that. That's your job. Dude. Okay. I'm going to spank oh, you. you don't spank I don't want that. <laughs> but, but the thing was, it was it was red, black, and white, and and his fit was was fly. My, so my fit's really fly. It's red, black, and white. But I'm really say Ohio on it. Yeah. Let's say Ohio State on them. That's true. Okay, sorry, sorry. I almost. Sorry. Chris, <laughs> I've been to Greece, man. Greece. I've been to Greece. You've been to Greece. Yes, sir. I've heard that Greece is the most beautiful place and has some of the most beautiful women in the world. I can say this now because I'm single. Yeah. So, yes, they have some of the most beautiful <laughs> women in the world, bro. When I say, like, they're real heavy on not getting fat there, like, they don't eat as much, like, with a lot of uh, seasoning and a lot of things like there. Like, Ain't that a bitch? Because I, when I go to Bucharest in Mediterranean spots, I get fat to the motherfucker. Bro, when I say, like, I had a euro so from here, right? Mm-hmm. A euro from Greece? Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh, mm-hmm. bro. Like, and 
I've never knew this. Like, I've always heard tales, but all their uh, sidewalks made out of marble, bro. Straight Dang. marble. It's beautiful. And the I water. That's real, real? Real, right. bro. The water, you would think the water's this color, bro. Right. No lie. You Damn. would think somebody put food coloring in it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Grease. Right. Amazing, bro. I, bet. I, have to, I heard bro, that sidewalks I, sidewalks of marble. For real. But it's I never believed it. I try I, to travel I somewhere, some bro. Bullshit. Out of country. I'm going to try to travel somewhere every year, bro. I'm trying to go to Spain this year. That's what's up. That's what's up. Try to do something, bro. I want to go to Sicily. Where? Sicily. Italy? No, Sicily. In, in. You know my that's where my wife people from. I know. They, you know oh, they crazy. Know. They, you know they bat shit crazy, right? Uh, bat so shit crazy. There. But but <laughs> the reason the reason there is because when they say the old country, that is old country. When when uh Natario uh, played ball in Italy, it would not necessarily Sicily, but Italy mm-hmm. and and sent some pictures and stuff and then uh, Caitlin went to go visit them and stuff like I seen pictures and I was just like the most uh the, how can I put this? The things that we call beauty aren't really beautiful until right. you go to something that's old, beautiful, beautiful. if that, yeah, makes that makes sense. Where it's yeah. old and beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Tuscany, yeah. that's, where, that's yeah. on my list. Tuscany. Yeah, it's like that. Like, shit like that is kind of what um, I, I like, think is, uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, we can get into that. That's a whole uh, other we, oh, All no, I'm no, saying no. is we need more sponsorship <laughs> so we can go to fucking, send me to Sicily, okay? We're going to... If you we'll sponsor our trip to Sicily, <laughs> then uh, we will do a live broadcast and shout you out the whole right. time. We're going to pie from Sicily. Pie, pie, pie. Let's go. They will kick us Great. the fuck out the car. Right anyway. First class. We wrapping up? Yeah, let's wrap it up, man. We've had a good time here, man. We got Chris in the building. Chris, Rayford, hey, <laughs> say everything. Your whole, yeah, your whole, right. uh, everything. Oh, um, and we've been sipping. Uh, I, yeah, I thought I was sipping Hennessy, <laughs> <laughs> but my but my my my, my no, co-host I, over I, there, right? I poured you Hennessy. This nah, Hennessy? this ain't Hennessy. This Hennessy, bro. Bro, I poured you, you guys poured the same thing. This, bro, this, bro, <laughs> you poured Hennessy. This, bro, this is tequila. This tequila. Bro, no, you it's got not tequila. tequila. It's got ice in yours. It's got ice in yours. Well, you know that that that's bro, Hennessy. This is Danny. Uh, what's, what's it called, Listen, Michael? That, that no, it's not. He's talking shit. Bro, look at your cup and look at my cup. I got. I don't have ice. He's about to look. about the taste. What are you, what are, come, come on. See, man, that's why we can't drink on the damn pod. Y'all be acting up. All I do is drink Hennessy. What are you, um, how are you going to tell? Bro. Okay. That, that is true. We'll talk about this when we, get, when we get off the show. You can't really tell him some shit. Well, not Hennessy Chris, say, say, okay. say every plug <laughs> available for you. This is your you time, could. baby. Every plug. Man, that's tough. Um, Take your time. Take no, your time. no, no, all your plugs. All my plugs. Oh, yeah, no, your, I'm your not talking about June bugging your, them. No, 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 I'm not talking about your other cousin. No, 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 no. None of them? All right. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. He was talking about your plugs. He was like, well, plugs. I get my socks yeah, he was from, like, well, I, I get, get my, my shoes from, from. <laughs> I get like, my clothes. Uh, <laughs> shout out to all my customers that mess with me, um, yes. all the returning customers, everybody that support me, all my family, all my friends. Uh Shout out Instagram because they pay me for my reels. Hey yo! Hey. <laughs> uh, shout out, ah um, uh, man! Shout out, shout out me, bro. For People sure. don't do you that know. enough, bro. What's your, shout what's out your myself? Huh? Hit your all ads. your ads. Um, your ads Chris right Rayford Art. That's all. Chris Rayford Art, and then Chris Rayford on on Facebook, man. That's check him that's out, I do, man. Just. Yeah, thank you. Put I appreciate it, y'all. Put man. it on the screen for you. Put it on there. Put no, it, I'll put it on there, man. Definitely. <laughs> Uh, man, that. I really, I really, really appreciate you for coming on. I really, really appreciate our co-host Rome, man, for 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 introducing us and sure. bringing you on, man. Because this is this is this is a family vibe, and I really love the yeah. episode that we had today, man. This is I, I I literally for the people in the back that don't know what's going on behind the scenes that's listening or or uh, watching us right now. We all well, me and my brother just met Chris. Literally today, today, as we walked in the mm-hmm. studio, mm-hmm. and it has been a pleasure, my yeah. brother. I really mean man. that for real, for real. Appreciate both yeah. of you. I drop, love you. Drop you dropped some <laughs> gems. You dropped gems. Uh, <laughs> great conversation, and you're a really, really cool yeah. dude, man. If it means anything coming Appreciate from us, you. man, if, if you know, definitely look forward to If there's anything that you can, uh, that that that. Can I say one more thing? Yeah, yeah. Right. One more thing. All right. So for like tattoo artists and just any artist that's running, anybody that's running, entrepreneur, um, if you download Square, that's the app. You uh, you do business on Square. Eventually, Square will give you uh, um, either a loan or Square will give you a, a a grant towards your business since they see how much money you're dealing out. And then you would just pay back off of every uh, deposit that you would get through that. So it would be like uh, uh, you don't you don't even see it coming out of your account. So it'll pay off easily, and they'll keep funding your business. And then um, with that, they'll add afterpay. Would it be 
great for your business and great for customers because right. people love Afterpay. Yes, I just seen do. that you put that people on Instagram talking Afterpay. about people that want to get some tasks, but yeah. you know, Afterpay. Afterpay. maybe not be able to afford it right, right. there on yep. the spot. Uh -huh. Afterpay, man. Yeah. That gems, dropping fucking gems, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> my customer hey, base. bro, just be a fourth, bro. just be a fourth anchor on the podcast, yeah, my bro. Customer dropping base gems has, has uh, grown. I think I looked at it yesterday, thirty five percent since I've dropped uh, nice. my Afterpay. Yeah, yeah, man, people love Afterpay. Right, you don't have to pay. Absolutely, and plus we going into a little bit of a recession, so people. People still want tattoos. Yeah. yeah. But if so I can people, make a payment plan, if I can make absolutely. a payment plan, four payment plans, so absolutely. I'll still get tatted. Yeah. That's dope of you, man. I, I commend you, man, for, for not only that, man, but but just listening to you today, everything that you have uh, expressed to us. I really, I, I really mean this, Chris. Appreciate I really you. love you as a person. At this point. <laughs> I appreciate Not just because you like Uncle Nearest. <laughs> <laughs> it's past Uncle Nearest now. But I really, really, man, I really feel really honored. Real, I, 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 seriously, I feel honored to be in your presence right now. And I really mean that. And I want to say this on air. Obviously, I will talk after the show, but I just want to. Oh, uh oh, that's, that's oh, my that? money. Five, I own, I own five dollars. Let's go twenty-five. <laughs> but I want, I want to you say that money, before money. we get out of here, man. So thank you, Chris. Chris <laughs> Rayford, you. ladies and gentlemen, man, in the building. Uh, thank you, Rome, for bringing them here. Oh, this has been another episode of the Beyond the Tracks podcast. We thank y'all so much for tuning in, listening, uh, checking us out. Make sure to subscribe and check us out on all uh, major streaming platforms. So with that being said, it's uh, Beyond the Tracks podcast. I'll see y'all later. Peace. Later. Peace. All right. <laughs>